What's up guys, Dan here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I color correct my A7S III S-Log3 footage in DaVinci Resolve. Now, the reason why I like to color grade in Resolve is that I just prefer it. I do all my editing in Premiere, then export that workflow over into Resolve, color grade it, then put it back into Premiere Pro, and then export it out. So here I've opened a new project in DaVinci and have my footage ready on the timeline. Let's click over to the color tab here and get correcting. Before we start tweaking anything, we need to tell DaVinci what the footage is we're working with. In this case, it's S-Log3 in Sony s Gamut 3 Cine. So let's create a new node here. Open the Effects tab and drop a color space transform onto it. On the drop-down menu, we're going to select s Gamma Cine and the next one, Sony S-Log3. And already it's starting to look good. Now, if your exposure is not set correctly, it may look overexposed or underexposed. When I shoot my footage, I always, as a rule of thumb, expose the middle gray to 41%. You can do this by setting a custom zebra level on your camera. When those lines show on the middle gray, you are good to go. So you wanna make sure the zebra lines are showing on this and that means it's exposed to 41%. You can either invest in an X-Rite Color Checker Passport, which is what I use, or there's a cheaper white balance card option available too. I'll put the links in the description below for you. All I'm gonna do now is click on the first node here and adjust the offset and lift to the point where I want my blacks to be. I don't need to do much here, but if your footage looks overexposed, make the necessary adjustments using these two wheels. From here, I think I'm gonna clean up the skin a little. Let's create a new node followed by a parallel node. Using the color picker, I'm gonna click and drag across the forehead to select a majority of the skin color. If I toggle this wand here, you can see the selection. Next, crank up that blur radius. and then slide the mid detail value down to between minus 30 to 35. I found this to be the sweet spot to smooth out the skin. Next, I'm gonna bump up the saturation ever so slightly. Click on the color picker on the left hand side here and make sure that I've selected the first node again and select the white point just to make sure the white balance is okay. And that's it, from here I would export this out as a Premiere XML file and then add any effects and text to the video if I need to. That is my workflow at the moment. And that's it, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next one.